Hey guys, we're watching Volgor's videos and uh, time for another fast food review. It's the first time I've been to the Jack in the Box behind me. I don't know if you can see it. Right there. Um, yeah. So this will make or break the Jack in the Box experience for me. Guess that'll work right now. Um, it's a dollar. Heft. Not bad, about the size of your standard uh, dollar cheese or spiced chicken from Burger King or, or any average place. Um, open her up, and you got diced diced onions, lettuce, ketchup sauce or jack sauce, whatever it's called, uh, a tomato, and there's your hamburger patty, and then a pickle. It doesn't look too amazing, but you know what? For a dollar, I'm fine with it. At least for looks. Now for the bite. You know what? It's not bad. They could give me more than one paper towel though. And this is a joke. Okay. It's funny. You know those little, the, the, the goofy uh, uh, paper towels you get in the bathrooms that are kind of thick? That's what this looks like. Only it's kind of a thinner one. It looks like a bathroom paper towel, but it is a napkin. Oh well. Hmm. Not bad. They also have a, I believe they have chicken sandwiches for a dollar, and uh, chicken nuggets for a dollar, and this big cheeseburger for a dollar, and it had Swiss cheese, and uh, American cheese, and less tomato, no, just, it's just cheese and the patty, and the sauce, I think, maybe a pickle. But I thought the Junior Jack looked like the best deal. The new burger they have is the Western, Western Jack. No, no, no. Western is um, Carl's Jr. This place they call it the Outlaw, which is pretty much the same thing. And that was three fifty six. It looked pretty good, but nah. I'm gonna keep my other two dollars and fifty six cents. Mm. Kind of tastes like the old Chevy's burgers we used to have back in the day. So, I'm pretty surprised. Jack in the Box. Jack in the Box it beats McDonald's hands down, at least for the dollar. I mean, when you go to a uh, McDonald's, you have a dollar, you can either get a single patty, cheeseburger, or a uh, McChicken. And with McChicken, they just slop the sauce on there. I mean, you gotta spend like at least three dollars to get a half decent burger there. And what I mean by half decent, it might taste half decent, but it's gonna still gonna have horrible ingredients and kill you in the long run.
<laughs> so, if you're in a bind, you got a dollar and you're hungry, don't starve, don't spend big bucks, just go to Jack in the Box and get a Junior Jack. I mean, at Burger King, they have the, the new stack, or not stackers, toppers. And they're kind of like this, but that'd be two bucks. So, yeah. So, Jack the Box. With this uh, Junior Jack, I'd probably give it like a 8 out of 10 for price. Sauce. The only thing I don't like is how small the patty is. It is pretty small and dinky, but I mean, for a dollar, it's not bad. I mean, it doesn't beat the Wendy's burgers. Those, those I think, for King are for the price. So, Jack in the Box actually surprised me. I thought it was gonna be like really sloppy and like not even cooked all the way through or burnt or something, but you know what? They done good. So thanks for watching. That was the Junior Jack. Woo!